So in the last video, last two videos, we talked about Prism Live Studio and how you can set it up for your church live stream, you know, using its its webcam features and using its screen sharing features on the recent video. So in this tutorial, this is going to be combining both of those tutorials so you can start your own gaming live streaming setup. Hi, my name is PJ, helping you increase your knowledge in online media. So again, this is going to be in Prism Live Studio, which the link is going to be in the description for you to download it. And you're going to have to download uh, the app as well for your phone so you're gonna have to use two phones if you want there are many options but you can use two phones you can use one phone for your mobile live streaming and then your other phone as your webcam but for the webcam i'm just gonna use my laptop's built-in webcam because i'm using my webcam right now for recording this tutorial so now we're gonna open prism live studio and then you're gonna end up with this interface you have scenes here and sources think of scenes as like different areas of your live stream and then sources is what's contained in each of those scenes this is gonna be a fast paced straight to the point sort of tutorial because i don't want this to be long and i want you to start immediately so you'll automatically automatically have a scene built in which is scene one you can rename it we can actually rename this to uh starting soon and then in your sources this is a starting soon this is where you go live but then you're not gonna play games immediately you're just gonna have to you know wait for a couple of viewers to comment through the stream and so you're gonna add a source then you can actually add an image you can have like an image slideshow or image this is gonna be your own personal image so you're gonna have to download some images F to make this simple I'm just gonna add a color panel make this uh, rename to background then press ok choose color I'm just gonna choose orange because that's what I kind of like make it uh, a pal palette kind of orange then press ok then you can set the width. I tend to set mine at uh, 1920 by 1080. So just press OK because that's the 1920 by 1080 is the aspect ratio of your screen or the size of the pixels on your live stream. And mine is a 1080 image, so we're gonna have to stick with 1080. Then you're gonna have backgrounds, and then plus, then you're gonna have uh, choose text template so text template like in the last video is just gonna be all about text so i'm just gonna have to type in a uh, starting soon text so press ok then you're gonna have a lot of templates like this one which is gonna be in a loop or if you don't want it to be a loop you can actually set it to not be a loop you can have like a caption or social elements i'm just gonna add titles i'm just gonna make it a shaky title this is actually very cool you're gonna have to type uh the text so i'm just gonna type it into a stream will start soon then press ok why isn't it, it showing up though it's i don't know why um where are the colors can make it into black I mean white with a black outline and okay now we can just resize it to where we want it to be stream will start soon so I'm just gonna have to edit this text this is gonna be a bit long of a video um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try 10. Oh no, it's too much. Yeah, 2 sounds good. I'm just gonna drag this down just so I can see it's okay. We're just gonna change the background color because I don't think it's good. Let's start with some sort of blue. There. 
the chances of it uh, you accidentally click on it and then move it once you do that it's gonna be doing that also for the stream so to prevent that from happening you just press the lock uh, button here so that nothing would move so even if you click on this you can't move anything if you want to uh, change its position you're gonna have to unlock first so there's your stream will start soon then you're gonna have an ending scene copy every single one of them and then just paste it sometimes uh, software does these things where they sort of uh, don't copy and sometimes they do but it's gonna be uh, a broken uh, position sort of stuff I mean this this software just started last year but they are working hard on working on bugs and fixes and then now we're gonna just edit this for thanks for watching this stream the stream now you can do that it's very easy so after both of these you're gonna have to uh, click plus again and then I'm gonna set up a live we just just named it as live scene so this is where you're gonna go live so you're just gonna drag this in the middle just so you won't get confused confused so that everything is in order and now you're gonna go to your phone Hopefully you already have uh, the Prism app installed on your phone, which is right over here. Then you're just gonna open it. Just open it and put it aside for now. Now in sources, you're gonna have to click the plus button. Then you're gonna have to click on Prism Mobile. Name it as your iPhone 6S. I guess that's the phone I'm using, the other phone. So I'm just gonna do that and then press OK. Then you're gonna have you're gonna be given a properties tab and then a QR code. Once you open your app, sometimes it starts up by live. You're gonna have to swipe it to connect. Then you're gonna see there's gonna be a QR scanner on the phone. So you're gonna have to aim it at the QR code. And you're gonna be given uh two options the camera or the screen before we're gonna do the camera we're gonna start off with the screen because i know some people just want to live stream without any face cam they just want the audio part so we're gonna go to screen then press connect make sure you turn off the microphone and then start broadcast i forgot to turn on my wi-fi <laughs> i'm sorry by the way good thing i good thing that happened this won't work unless both your phone and your laptop or your computer are on the same internet connection. So make sure they're on the same network just so it will work. So now it should work. So when I focus on this, press connect, start broadcast. And now it's working. As you can see over here, look, it's working. Press OK. Now you're going to have to go to your game. I'm just going to play Among Us because that's... The only game I have on this phone. Now I'm just gonna put the phone aside for a bit. Now you're gonna need to just just resize everything. There. So you're just gonna have to uh, rearrange or resize everything till it fits your entire screen. And then there is your visual. It's not laggy. Look, I'm just gonna put this like local. Look. It's delayed a little bit, but it's it's not it's not that big of a deal. And now you're gonna have to add audio. So you're gonna have to add an audio or a mic mic audio capture device. Don't worry about the phone; it will automatically capture the audio on your phone, so it's okay. The internal audio is recorded. So you're just gonna have to put it like a condenser mic, because that's what I have, which is this mic. And then choose your device i'm just gonna choose like uh, my audio here then press ok the reason why i actually prefer for you to live stream with this setup without a face cam it's because of the part where this is delayed so what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna go to the condenser mic uh press the three buttons over here i mean the gear bottom over here i'm sorry and then you're gonna have to offset the sync of this so sync offset means uh what delays it which means what when i'm talking right now the output of this is gonna be delayed to what's set up here so typically what i observed here is that it's delayed by 350 milliseconds you know this is delayed 350 milliseconds so you can set it up like that but it really depends on your internet connection and your bandwidth so you're just gonna press the x and then once you talk and then once you live stream it's gonna be synced your audio and this is the reason why i prefer if you want a face cam you should also use another phone with uh, the prism app because when you're gonna use your other phone as a webcam it's gonna be delayed in the same way so both your your gaming phone and your webcam phone are gonna be synced when it comes to the delay and then you're just gonna de delay the audio but when you use a different webcam like the webcam on my laptop it's not gonna be synced so my my mouth is gonna be uh talking in real time while the audio is gonna be talking off sync which is a bad thing that's why i like i said people live stream uh using you know using both phones as their webcams but if you really don't, don't care you can actually use a webcam and then don't sync your vocals to uh the gaming here and then you're just gonna be delayed 350 milliseconds i don't think anybody is gonna notice unless you're really looking for it there you go so when you when you're gonna add a webcam you're just gonna click the plus button then add a video webcam or video capture device i'm just gonna press ok you're gonna end up with this and then you're gonna go to i'm just gonna go to integrated webcam because that's the webcam of my laptop and now you're just gonna press hello so now you're just gonna press ok and then now all you need to do is you can actually press the alt key and then press one of these corners so you can crop this if you want to crop this and then just resize it to where you want it to be it can be this one or over here over here you put it like over here some people tend to do it over there and then there you have it live stream gaming live stream setup using prism live studio if you want to make this a little bit better by the way the video ends here if you want to if you're already appreciated by this much you can actually start by doing this but i can show you something like this you can add this one you can do that setup and then we're just gonna have to add a new uh, image or a color panel if you want then you can set the color to probably like darkish blue then uh, set the panel below and then resize it to you know like the same thing as your resolution then press ok and then there you can also do that you can also another you can also add another panel you're basically doing graphic design right now then you can have that color like a blue a bluish but lighter same thing as our uh same thing as our intro stuff so you can do that and then um we're just gonna resize it to about um 1920 the same thing then you can basically just do this now you can do that and what's gonna be better is you can actually uh, resize your webcam right here and now you're gonna press the plus icon and then you're gonna go to where is it uh the prism chat i'm looking for it right now so the prism chat is basically uh the people who who comments or you puts chat on your live stream basically like this it's gonna be shown on stream so people can watch and you can see all the people commenting so i sort of like this style for and you're you, you're just gonna have to do that then resize it by the way 
just so you won't uh, mistakenly resize any other stuff I recommend that you actually lock everything and now you're gonna you can only resize the prism chat and you can do this it's either you press alt and then just crop everything here or if you want it much better just put it under the webcam so that your webcam will cover everything on here for an extra bit of detail you can add another text template and you can make it as socials uh, youtube so what i meant is that you can add to social and then you can add a youtube channel sort of like stuff and then you can add like pj sunray it's a plug for my youtube channel my uh vlogging channel you can do that just crop it a little bit so you can do that and then you're gonna add another one for your facebook for your twitter your instagram anything so this is basically the entire setup so thank you for watching hopefully this helped you and if you want more content like this please leave a like and subscribe again thank you